Welcome. Juneteenth, celebrated annually on June the 19th, is a significant day in American history. It commemorates the end of slavery in the United States, specifically marking the day in 1865 when Union General Gordon Granger arrived in Galveston, Texas and announced the freedom of enslaved people more than two years after President Abraham Lincoln's Emancipation Proclamation. On January 1st, 1863, President Abraham Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation, declaring that all enslaved people in Confederate States were to be set free. However, the enforcement of this proclamation largely depended on the advancement of the Union troops. Texas being geographically remote saw little impact from the Emancipation Proclamation due to the minimal presence of Union troops. As a result, slavery continued in Texas well beyond the proclamation's um, issuance. On June 19, um, 1865, General Ranger, Granger and his troops arrived in Galveston and issued General Order No. 3, which stated, The people of Texas are informed that in accordance with a proclamation from the Executive of the United States, all slaves are free. They became known as Juneteenth, blending the words June and 19th. Juneteenth symbolizes the true end of slavery in the United States. While the Emancipation Proclamation had declared the freedom of enslaved people, it was not until General Granger announcement that the last remaining enslaved people in Texas were officially free. Um, education and awareness are, are, are extremely important. Juneteenth serves as an opportunity to educate people about the history of slavery, its impact, and the ongoing fight against racial injustice. It fosters discussions about the past and encourages a commitment to ensuring equality and justice for all. Juneteenth is not just a celebration of the end of slavery. It is a day of reflection, education, and continued advocacy for racial equality and justice. It honors the resilience of African Americans and serves as a reminder of the long journey towards freedom and the ongoing struggle for civil rights. The recognition and celebration of Juneteenth are crucial for acknowledgement, for acknowledging the past and understanding the present and working towards a more equitable future.
And hello everyone, welcome to Majesty's Sussex Report. I'm Antonio and excitement, right? I am super excited. I'm so happy uh, since, since yesterday actually because you folks just, is it, turn, you, you turned it up or you, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to not try and, and, and insult anyone. Um, I'm just going to say thank you. Thank you for um, subscribing, all the new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to our community. And as I say, welcome to La Familia. Well, I don't usually say that. I, I just started started saying that. Like I just It just came out, like right now. Just went, welcome to La Familia. Oh, that, that actually changed. It was different than the first time. <laughs> you see, I'm all giddy. Um, but... In all honesty, thank you so very much. It means means the world to me. Um, and Alice, thank you for your super thanks. Thank you so very much. Every contribution goes right back into this channel, and I appreciate it so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, shout out also to Lorna, to Rosie, to Reba, Arja, Angela, um, uh, Alice, um, to H M A L D. I can't pronounce that if you even really try to. Um, Gilin to um, Joanne to S six three five two and to um, T Mac D. If it's not T Mac D, it's T M small C D. <laughs> T Mac D. I think that's what I think that's what it is, right? Um, to Marsha. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Zalita, to Mary, to Casey, to Novidi, to Matilda, to Essie, to Gunny, to Joyce, to each and every one of you. To each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And if by any chance you're just discovering this channel, you see, this, this is the way we are. Um, subscribe. It takes not even two seconds. Just click the thing and it will make a difference, okay? And if you're not ready to, to commit yet, oh well, your loss. <laughs> what am I becoming cocky now? But, but listen, but all seriousness, stay until the end. If you enjoy the content and you think it's like, you know, worth you coming back and getting notifications and all that kind of stuff, subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up and um, leave a comment as usual. We love great comments. Anything that you're gonna say negative or you think you need to educate me on the Sussexes, you do not. So please don't. Don't waste your time. It's the only thing of value that we have that we don't get back at all. Okay? So don't waste don't waste it on me. Don't waste it on the Sussexes. No go go do something else. Okay? Alright, so thank you. Oh boy. So what an episode we have today. Um, so I kept thinking yesterday a little bit as I was going through a couple of, um, news feeds and, and reading stuff on, on the X and, um, trying to, and, and also looking at people's comments, right? On these different things that the Royals have been doing. And also th I'm still thinking about what Concha said, right? And one of the things that stood out to me, and I started to, I don't know why, it, it, it made me kind of start to question someone in the Order of the Garter. Uh, so they were doing their, their, their procession and stuff like that, and um, they, were being, they were transmitted live. And there were, there were a few comments that said, you know, this is culture. This is what, um, you know, makes us um, British and we're so proud of all of this and we have history and blah and that, so on and so on and so on. And I'm not making fun of or anything like that. But it sort of goes on and stuff. And I, and, and I something, you know, and, and I usually follow my instincts. Um, when something doesn't sit well, it just means like there is something else there that I am not noticing or that my brain is still processing because there's something there that is bugging me but I'm not sure what it what it is and a few minutes passed by and it finally kind of hit me I, I, I kind of went hang on a second 
is this is this the sort of culture and all the other stuff that some some Brits have been talking about that you know Megan didn't understand and she you know it's a it's a it's a cultural clash and she'll never be this and so on right and I kept looking at, at the and the things that were happening and I, I thought but this is not culture this is this is adoration this is elitism these are a bunch of aristocrats that give themselves these these are these 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 honors and 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 praises and and it all stays within the aristocratic um, um, society or, or or you know the upper echelon and they parade around in these coats and they wear medals and this and that that's not culture that that is that is telling the culture the people that there they are a rank of us that is better than the rest of you we are better so you can't just go and participate and be part of of that so you i'm not saying the, anyone in general but the general public is an observant stands by and watch these people parade around saying basically I am better than you. I mean, if, if you don't interpret it that way, then that is okay. That's completely fine. I, it, it just, that is what dawned on me. And, and not only that, even the Royal Escort and all of that, I, I, I started thinking, I'm going, how many, how many ceremonies and these things that, that people call tradition, it's our tradition. How many of them are in service to praise the aristocrats? How many of them are in service to remind you that you are not one of them and that they're superior to you? And I just sat there yesterday and I went, oh my goodness, huh, this is interesting. Now, I might just be pulling straws out of hay or hay out of straws or something because I like inventing things. Um, and this may mean absolutely nothing. Some of you may be going, oh, Antonio, come on. Like, like it is tradition. It is, And I'm not saying it's not tradition. Tradition is something, you know, you, you keep doing all the time. I'm just saying it's not like for everyone. It's the upper echelon keep reminding you <laughs> who you are. he was thrown under the bus as a as a teenager by Camilla's um the, the, the Charles's great drive to have Camilla rehabilitated and so great um, relationships were made with the press and with the media so that so that Camilla's path would be smooth and it took years and years and years but it eventually happened and along the way Harry was collateral damage in terms of thrown under the bus with stories and you know, she, you know, when you think about it, Camilla is, nobody says it, but in, in terms that you could have been seen as the wicked stepmother. Yeah, and, well, he and almost you can't said claim. that in his book. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But, of course, for Charles, that's unforgivable because yeah. because she is, Camilla is non-negotiable. I mean, she's queen, for God's sake, when even the, the proper queen didn't want her to be. Harry was here. The United Kingdom, with its rich tapestry of history and tradition, is home to numerous ceremonies and events that have endured for centuries. Many of these traditions, while grand and visually spectacular, often caters to the aristocratic class, leaving the general populace as mere spectators. Examples such as the Order of the Garter, the annual Ascot horse racing event, even Troop in the colors illustrate a pattern where the celebrations are predominantly for the elite, while the common folk watch from the sidelines. The Order of the Garter 
is one of the oldest and most prestigious orders of chivalry in the world, established in 1348 by King Edward III. The ceremony, held annually at St. George's Chapel in Windsor, is a lavish affair attended by the monarchs, knights, and ladies of the order, all adorned in elaborate robes and insignia. This event, steeped in medieval tradition, underscores the exclusivity and power of the British arist aristocracy, with the general public largely excluded from participation. The Royal Ascot. Similarly, the Royal Ascot, an annual horse racing event held in Berkshire, is synonymous with British high society. Established in 1711 by Queen Anne, it is not just about the sport, but also about the display of wealth and fashion. Dune, the fashions. Um, the royal enclosure, accessible only by invitation, is a bastion of aristocratic privilege where the dress code is strictly enforced and, this is, and the social elite mingle. While the public can attend other areas of the race course, the essence of the event remains a celebration of the aristocratic class. Tripping the Colors The annual celebration of the monarch's official birthday is another spectacle that highlights the separation between the ruling class and the general populace. With its roots in 17th century military tradition, the event is marked by a grand parade involving regiments of the British Army, machinery in uh, elaborate, um, sorry, marching in elaborate uniforms and bearing the colors of the flag of their battalions. The monarch, along with members of the royal family, observe from the Buckingham Palace balcony, while the public views the spectacle from the mall or via broadcast. Now, in stark contrast, many traditional um, festivals in countries like Spain and Italy are vibrant celebrations of local culture and community, where participation is widespread and the um, distinction between classes is less pronounced. Let's go to Spain. La Tomatina. I've always wanted to be part of La Tomatina. I think it'll be so ridiculously fun. But then, you know, if someone, someone hits me wrong. <laughs> Anyways. La Tomatina, held in the town of Burnol in, in España, is a prime example. This festival, which involves a massive tomato fight. <laughs> yes, tomato. Tomato fight. Um, is open to anyone willing to join the fun. Originating in 1945, the La Tomatina has become a beloved annual event drawing uh, participants from all walks of life who come together to engage in this messy, joyous celebration. The focus is on community and collective enjoyment rather than exclusivity. Okay, so now let's head to Bella Italia, um, the Palio di Siena in Italy. So similarly, the Palio di Siena, uh, a horse race held twice a year in Siena, Italy, is deeply rooted in the local community. The event pits the various um, districts of Siena against each other in a spirited competition. The entire city is involved in the preparations and celebrations with elaborate pageantry, feasts and parades. The Palio is a testament to local pride and unity, transcending social and economic divides. So that's it. Um, I would say, you know, while, <clears throat> excuse me, while the UK aristocratic um, traditions are a testament to its rich history and, and, and continuity, they, they often highlight the divide between the elite 
and the common people. Um, in contrast, these festivals in Spain and in Italy, uh, I think they have some in Portugal also, they emphasize the community involvement and share cultural heritage, bring in people together, regardless of their social status. Um, these differences in celebration styles underscores a broader societal structure and values, revealing much about the cultures from which they immerse. 1.6 million men have tried. 525,000 men have died. Those are the numbers every year that we lose to suicide. June is men's mental health awareness. And I know not too many people will be talking about it. And not too many people know about it. But I'm going to be talking about it. Countless times in our society, we suffer in silence. And we are told to man up, to toughen up, keep our head down and suppress our emotions. It's okay to not be okay and still be a man. If you need somebody to talk to, reach out to them. Do whatever you need to do to not carry the weight of the world on your back. Because at some point, if you don't have somewhere to put it, it'll crush you. I've been there. I know what it feels like to think that tomorrow might not be worth it. At the end of the day, you'll be okay. You may not see your way through, but you always have your next step. And you don't have to act like everything's okay because it's okay if it's not. Sit in if you have to cry, yell, scream, do whatever you have to do to process and feel those emotions. But don't let it consume you because it's consumed enough. Keep going because when it's all said and done, you will be okay and you're not alone. Okay, so I'm going to just um, grab a comment or two from um, yesterday. Uh, let's see here who we've got. Lorna. Lorna said, how can he genuinely love his children but cannot show any love to his brother's children? A photo with his children does not prove love. Lorna, you are absolutely correct. It's, and, and that 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 photograph right it's interesting to me because like obviously their backs are towards us and one can read whatever you want to read into it it might just be an innocent thing that they're they're sort of looking into but their backs are towards us we we don't see their faces we we, we don't see his face you know it's it, it's just it's it's an interesting photograph to put out for Father's Day with your children and your backs no 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 one can see your faces, your back is towards the public or towards whom whomever. And I think it's interesting again that they're still staying with this line of well Kate took the picture. Look, and I'm not saying she didn't. I'm just saying it's interesting that they continue to stick to that. And the other thing that I found, because as I kept looking at it, I was like, it does look really like, it almost looked, like, and I'm not going to say AI, even though I'm tempted to say that, but it, it, it looks like it's very much filtered, right? Like, like Photoshop-y filtered. So it looks almost like, like impeccable. Um, which one can do easily, right? With um, today's filters and stuff. So anyways, I just found it interesting. Let's put it that way. Um, let's see. And I agree with you, Lorna. You know, I, I, I think when, when Harry said, when Prince Harry said, you know, I'm doing this also for my niece and nephew, like, you know, they're coming up as, as, as the two spares. And the whole thing, allegedly, William saying, I, I, I don't, you know, I can take care of my own kids. I don't need you to, like, whatever. I don't, I don't know. It really, wh where did it go wrong, right? It's, 
look, I have I have brothers, and we have very distinct personalities. There are similarities in certain certain things, like like a like in certain base, but very similar people. Sorry, very different people. We grew up in the same household, same parents, same everything. Right, things weren't different for any one of us. They treated us the same way, and I am just fascinated with how we, as people, we could be in the same situation, grow up in the same same conditions, and one person can choose to look at it one way, right, and and carry on, and the other person look at it another way and either be devastated by it or something like that right because i just talk about you know my immediate um, brother he him and i very different people right i've always been very quiet very i've been very shy I also i mean it didn't help that i was always sick and 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 extremely thin um and being taken into the hospital every every other week he was just, he was just this, 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 <laughs> this rebel, right? Everything, he was just curious about everything. He didn't care. They was, I remember we were out um, at a campsite and this was just like a day camp campsite thing. Um, we, we were going swimming and there was a creek and a camp thing and a barbecue thing. That's what I remember. And... Our parents specifically told him, um, stay away from the fire. And, you know, he has just these this big brown eyes. And he, he, he just like, I remember him going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the minute, the minute they were all like swimming and stuff, I see him and he's like pushed in his hand, like, like, like trying, he's getting closer to the fire and closer to the fire. And I like yelled at him. I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, what do you mean? I said, they said, don't don't play with the fire. He's like, well, just because they said it doesn't mean I, I have to do it. I'm like, that's why you get into so much trouble. I was like, why do you do this? Because I couldn't understand why he did it. Right? If my parents said, sit here and don't move for like 10 hours, I'd be like, no problem. I'll sit right here, but I need to pee. <laughs> right? But I wouldn't move. Not him. And he literally put his hand into the fire. And he's like, oh, oh, it does burn. I was like, oh, my gosh. He said to me at one point, he goes, well, I, you shouldn't believe everything they tell you, you know. You should, like, he, he was just, he's just, I, I, I just love him. He's just amazing. He is amazing. But very different personalities. So, I, I was watching this stuff earlier and watching Prince Harry on his Caribbean tour and how natural he is and how like he just gets there with the people and, and people are like, you know, screaming and this and that and, and, and they're like, yo, Harry, man, like he just, he has his gravitas and this like um, charisma about him. And it's the way he kind of just, is just this natural like, I feel almost like he doesn't know any other way to do this. It's just who he is, right? And William isn't that. And the thing that I was thinking about, the thing that I was thinking about is when I think about my, 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 my brother and I, it's, I remember one point, because he, he was very good at sports. I am not. I, I I can play some sports, but I'm I'm awkward as as, as whatever, and I, I'm not gonna say what what I'm what what sport it was, but at school, I I was getting to be really good at this particular sport, to my freaking surprise, and I remember him being all like, kind of pissy and 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 kind of moody and this 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 went on for like two weeks like you know he wasn't 
when when it came to me and I was like, what did I do to him? So I remember asking him one one time, I was like, what did I do to you? Like like you you you're like angry at me all the time now and, and being just like mean and he's like you know, he just like whatever, like get out of my way. So we were we were having dinner and I, I, I didn't, because I love my brother, and it, it kind of really hurt me that, that, you know, he was feeling a certain way, and I had no idea w w why. So, after dinner, um, I think we went for a walk or something. So, we were heading out, went for a walk, and him and I were, were like, lagging behind. And I said to him, okay, are you going to tell me, like, what did I do, what, what, what happened? And he just looked at me, he goes... I have one thing, man. I have one thing that I'm good at. One thing. You're good at all this stuff. You like our my our parents' favorite. You like goody two shoes. Like everything. You get you know this and that. And he goes, I'm good at one thing. And you want to take that away from me? You want to take it away from? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Because I didn't see any. I, I mean, I don't. See, I didn't see the world the way he sees it, right? And he interpreted like. My parents take, take having to rush him to hospitals all the time, and 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 me being sick all the time. He saw that not as I was I was sick. He saw that as you get all this attention, and that was mind blowing to me. That that's the way he saw it. But also, he was really good at sports, and now there's this one sport that I'm really good at, and he's going, okay, so now you're gonna come and take that away from me now. And that, I think that really opened my eyes to how, as uh, siblings, you can, you can see things so differently and interpret them so differently. And I remember the same, <laughs> the following day, I went, I was, I was when, we went, I went, when we went to school, sorry. And I just was like, sorry, I can't, I can't play this anymore. And, I, and they're like, Antonio, why? what you're really good at this i was like no i can't like i i don't know like you know I'm, I'm always sick and i have to be careful and whatever anyways uh it didn't it i don't want to say it didn't cost me anything it my brother's happiness my brother having the the, the thing that that he considered to be his one thing was more important f to me for him to have that than to say, you know, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, too bad. Like, Africa is mine. No, that's my brother. That's my brother. We, 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 we think very differently. And sometimes him and I will sit down and like, I'll, I'll look at him and say, I don't understand how you can get <laughs> to that, to that conclusion. <laughs> but I respect your decision, right? Um, and I will, I will defend him no matter what. I will, I, I will go in front of a bullet for him, right? He's my brother. And I know he would do the same for, for me. But I do know relationships, sibling relationships, some that, that they go awry and, and, and are awry. And they, 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 never, they never heal, they never come back, right? that same brother my 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 brother he he was angry at me another time um we weren't even teenagers yet i think and he picked up oh I'm not, no i'm not going to tell the story but but i have a scar because um because of it and i remember my parents were so mad at him so mad at him and i just was like praying that that not because I, I was I was I was very panicky because number one you know there's just blood running down my face and 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 I'm like what if I can't see anymore but at the same time I'm concerned about him because I know he didn't really mean it and I didn't want him to like punish him or anything but it is it is interesting I think because ever so often like when I've had you know my ups and downs he he'll call me out of out of the blue and he'll be like your brother what are you doing and oh
and I would say I'm just like you know I'm just I'm just hanging here at home and he'd be like okay you've been hanging at home too much um, I'll be at your place in 30 minutes um, I'm taking you out we're gonna go get something to eat or do whatever and I'm like ah, no, I don't feel like it. he's like I don't care if you feel like it or not I'm on my way right and um, I love him for that really really love him for that and that he gave our dad <laughs> his first granddaughter <laughs> that he just loves all right that was long well and with that story that got me all teary-eyed again <laughs> as i'm listening to it um i'm going to end this episode um there is there, there's more but it's getting later and it's already um uh close to an hour of content or maybe um, 40, 45 minutes of um, content. And I want to get this out to you folks. I, you will not believe me, but please do. I started working on this today. I already had a, a sort of a, a, an idea um, plan uh, last night. So today I started working on this at uh, 10.30 a.m. with the goal of having it posted at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Everything that could have gone wrong with my with the platform, the software, my laptop has gone wrong. These I don't know what I'm going to do because I think I might have to change. And it's just like I I I I've learned how to use this so well, and it's like a pain. To now try and drop these 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 this platform and try and learn an, another one for the content creation. So because you know I had this uh, similar issue, it, it took forever to fix it. It's kind of fixed. I've been doing this stuff again, and now the issue is that all of the graphics or all of the the, the slides. Usually I'll have like motion in the slide or I'll do something um, with it. So I'll do that. But then if I, if I change my mind and I want to change it, it's not allowing me to change back. And it's kind of like it's making its own decision. <laughs> so it will just change all of the, all of the um, actions or, or, or motions that I made in that particular slide and do something completely different. And then it, it, it will affect all the other slides. So I have an entire episode where the furniture is floating, I'm floating, um, it's going left and it goes right and it goes, uh, and I'm like, and I try to st stop this stuff, but it, it will not take the command. Anyways, I'm gonna stop this one here um, now and um, just have it out to you folks. And tomorrow, hopefully, I will get part two. Well, part two is already done. It's just putting it together to edit it. Um, get that to you uh, at an earlier time. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, love you folks and um, take care.
streets of peace be scattered birthing trees whose shade gives us rest may the seeds of peace be scattered birthing trees whose shade gives us rest may the seeds of peace be Shade gives us rest. May the seeds of peace be scattered. Birthing trees whose shade gives us rest.